You will notice that when you open up the student sieving data, some of your um, samples will have a larger size range than others. So this is the salt marsh example. If we compared that to the main channel sunbank, um, one of the samples that we sieved, your size range is smaller. Okay, so the salt marsh uh, example here, you have a larger size range because um, this sample was processed through the Malvern laser particle sizer. And that's because it was a muddy sample, so uh, it, that means it included cohesive sediments. And when you have cohesive sediments, you can't dry sieve them because they like to stick together and create larger particles than they are in fact representing. So what you need to do is note that the phi scale is different to your sieving samples, okay? So that means when you plot these up using sigma plot, you need to use the whole phi particle size spectrum, okay? So you'll have to change the, um, the x-axis on your sigma plot graph, okay?